Good evening folks, Colm here from CommerceGurus.com. Today we're going to go through the process of installing the WPML multilingual plugin for WordPress with the Adrenaline theme. So the Adrenaline theme has been certified to be 100% compatible with the WPML plugin. The WPML plugin has been around for a couple of years. It's probably the most popular and to be honest the best plugin for managing a multilingual WordPress site. So we at WooCommerce have spent a good bit of time to make sure that Adrenaline is fully optimized for the WPML plugin. So it can be quite tricky just to get your head wrapped around some of the things that you need to do to set up WPML. It's a very powerful plugin. Um, so I thought a little video series might help uh, new users, new Adrenaline users uh, who are new to WPML just to get things up and running um, as quickly as possible. So we're going to break this down into a couple of different parts. Uh, first of all, I'm going to install um, the Adrenaline theme and just very, very quickly go through that process. We've covered that in previous videos. If you're an Adrenaline customer, you would have seen that hopefully in uh, the theme documentation. We have a number of uh, install videos included. So think of this as a real rapid fire install process. It's pretty quick to be honest with you. If you've not seen those videos, you should be able to follow it from this process. But if you need a little bit more time, go and check out the documentation before you start. So I'm going to make the assumption that at this point you have uh, hosting in place and that you have a WordPress install uh, set up, ready to go. You can see I've got one here. It's running WordPress 4.1 as of the 5th of January 2015. So um, just very quickly, I'm going to go into my WordPress dashboard. I'm going to go down to Appearance and Themes. I'm going to go ahead and upload Adrenaline. So the Adrenaline theme itself is around about 10 megs. So you've got to make sure uh, with your WordPress hosting provider that your file upload limit is at least 10 megs. If it's any less than that, you're going to have problems. Um, really, in this day and age, there's no reason why it's not at least 10 megs. And to be honest with you, it could be a lot more than that. Um, yeah, so it's around 10 megs. So depending on your upload speeds from your desktop or your laptop to your um, your host, this could take a couple of minutes. Um, <clears throat> we're at about 85%, so we might just wait this one out. So you can see the theme has been uploaded. I'm just going to press activate. So upon activation, you'll see that Drown is prompting us to install a number of plugins um, that the theme really requires to, to get the most out of Adrenaline. So I'm just going to go ahead and install those. So very quickly, bulk actions, install. This can take, again, depending on your host, it'll pull down some plugins from the WordPress repository. This can take a minute or two if you're on a slow host. And again, you can check out commercegurus.com forward slash siteground, S-I-T-E-G-R-U-N-D, if you're looking for a pretty good and fast WooCommerce host. So once this process is complete, you can see our plugins are now installed. We can just click back to the required plugins installer. And we can very quickly just activate those plugins. Activation should only take a brief moment. You'll see everything is now activated. Okay, so one plugin, the most important one, WPML, isn't included as part of this process. Why is that? WPML is a commercial plugin. We can't bundle that as part of our uh, theme process. It's the separately purchased commercial plugin. Where you get it from, you can get it from WPML.org. So once you go on over there, you'll see there's a number of different packages available. If you're a developer, I recommend you get your hands on the 
develop a package which I think is called yeah it's multilingual CMS lifetime which will work for limited sites unlimited updates forever and a day so 195 bucks which okay for WordPress plugins a little bit more expensive but believe you me it's gonna be worth it uh, at a minimum if you're just um, a single site you get free updates for one year for $39 but this time next year you're gonna to want to upgrade so seriously consider the uh, a lifetime package for 195 if if, uh, if you're going to be using uh, WPML for the long run. Okay, so once you actually are over there and you're logged into your account, you'll see within a download setting section, uh, there's a number of different plugins. So WPML really isn't just one plugin. There is the multi single multilingual CMS plugin we're going to be using. Uh, which is the core really. There's the string translation plugin which is really really useful in terms of just translating strings uh, within an interface within WordPress and WPML. There's a translation management which is really like your command center for your translation process. Uh, what other ones are we going to use? We're also going to use WPML media which is very very important for ensuring that any of your media assets are translated correctly. And one more, yeah, the theme tester is useful for just ensuring everything you've caught everything. And finally, the multilingual beta plugin for WooCommerce. If you're a developer, yeah, you can use the version that you'll find WPML.org. But for most people, I'd recommend you actually use uh, the version, the actual production version, which at the moment is 343, uh, which is available from the WordPress.org repository itself. Uh, main reason being is that the beta versions can be uh, a little bit experimental. You don't really want to use those in production sites. So what I've done um, is I've downloaded those plugins to my desktop. We're going to install them now in just a couple of minutes. Um, before that, I'm just going to quickly finish off the Drenn install process. So I'm just going to go ahead and import demo data before that I'm just going to skip the WooCommerce pages uh, import process we don't want to import those right now they're going to come in with our demo data so I'm going to click the import demo data button and what this will do is it'll go ahead now and actually start to import a lot of the pages and posts, custom post type data, custom fields, you name it, widgets, menu items, everything that you see in our main adrenaline demo. Um, so this again can take, I've seen this take up to four or five minutes on some very slow uh, WordPress hosts. Um, it'll probably take about a minute on our server here today. Um, so, you know, go grab yourself a cuppa while this is going on. So the import process is complete now. Once the import process is complete, you will see all done have fun not too much fun uh, just underneath the import data it's quite subtle so just you might miss it just to keep an eye out for it uh, as I said it can take a couple of minutes to complete so you know sit tight and wait it out so now that that's complete that really gets us up and running with uh, adrenaline uh, the next step in part two we're actually going to get into the main WPML installation process so be sure to check back for part two again this is Colin from commercegurus.com talk soon